The fastest growing segment of the homeless population is families, and the majority of those families are led by single mothers with children. There are one million homeless people living in the United States, and 80,000 live in Los Angeles County, and women are among the highest growing number. Hi, my name is Ernestine, and um, I've got my grandson and my daughter with me. Uh, we're now homeless, and we're on a waiting list for shelter. But it's a long waiting list and it's a period of waiting and openings. So we're really looking for a visibility like, um, for women and children. A, a recent report found that as a result of the economic downturn, one in 50 children are now homeless in America. With shelters at full capacity, tent cities are sprouting up across the country. Life for single mothers is not easy. Being a single mom and homeless is almost unimaginable. The resources to provide family housing are scarce and wait lists can be months long. In the San Fernando Valley, the only place the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority has to place these families is low-end motel accommodations. Hope of the Valley Rescue Mission saw the need in the San Fernando Valley. In the San Fernando Valley on a given night, over 7,000 people are on the streets homeless. 41% of them are families. The majority of those families are single moms with children. So one day, a couple years ago, we got a phone call at Hope. And the phone call was about a 30-bed group home that was available at a very affordable cost. So we looked at it and uh, it wasn't in the budget. It, it was a part of the overall strategic plan, but we said, okay, let's go for this. Let's provide for these most vulnerable of the homeless, women and children. Our board of directors, you know, after walking through it, they said, you know what, this will be an incredible, incredible opportunity for moms and kids. And we're, you know, at Hope of the Valley, we're about hope, hot meals, housing, health services, and healing. And whatever we can do to help the hungry, homeless, and hurting of the San Fernando Valley. Thirty-two to forty percent of these homeless individuals are single moms with families or single women wandering the streets. And I think if, if I were to pinpoint why I'm so passionate about homeless services and Hope of the Valley, I, I think it's because of the kids. When we were waiting in the office, I just wanted to see the around and everybody looked so nice and they were saying hi and they were like very welcoming and then yeah, and then we saw everything and it just looked very homey, like it looks very comfortable and it is comfortable. Getting families off the street, we never been in the situation so we don't understand but you could see the energy, the changes, the light bulb in the eyes of the children, how appreciative they are to know that they don't have to be in the street or in a shelter but a safe place and try to get over to stability. I left an unhealthy relationship and I was laid off two weeks later and then I just lost my apartment and, and it was really difficult to find somewhere to go and I went through the hotels, through um, sleeping in my car shelters and then um, I was fortunate enough to be um, um, received here like very warmly and um, quickly and, and it, it was, you know, it was really a, a great relief. I have six kids and the oldest one is 23 and the second one is 20 and the third one is 19. They are already independent and I have raising the three minor children now. He is a typical three-year-old, you know, likes to do everything, you know, he's uh, very active and sweet and um, uh, it's smart, too smart, so it was kind of like hard trying to keep the consistency and the guilt and everything at bay and also try to give him like that normality that he was used to. So that was like a challenge. Um, so it was something that I had to every day just kind of uh, still give my attention to him and keep his life kind of normal while everything around was just not. No. As I was being taken back to surgery, I 
was facing something huge and not only once I had to have a second surgery after about a month later and again had the Genesis house but I wasn't thinking about dying I wasn't thinking about any of that I was scared I didn't know where I was gonna go and what I was gonna do we are gonna try to expand from the valley through wherever we whomever we can touch in homelessness to get them stability that's our mission I think it's amazing that, that you're giving people you know that that kind of support you know that's that's an amazing thing you're doing for people there's there's not much like that right now i made a mission in this line of work children are my biggest priority parents adults we make our mistakes children don't ask to be in this situation or even to be put all this burden upon them that's why we need a lot of help. We need funding. We need the resources to help parents with problems like this so we don't lose children to either fatality or even abuse. I got the meningitis in the end of the last year, so that put me in the spot that struggled more and I couldn't even stay at the stable house apartment. I was told a story the other day that a, a young boy had just finished and was graduating from elementary school. His family had nowhere to go except their car. That I, I have no place to stay. I was just daily making money for the hotel. We were in a hotel and I didn't like it because I always got big bed bugs and stuff and it would always like leave a big huge mark on me. When we opened up, I'll never forget a young mother coming in with her little boy. They saw their room for the first time and the little boy came running to mommy and said, Mommy, I have my own bed. When I moved into this house, I was very impressed and my children are so happy. And they have a lot of books and you, you could also watch TV like The Lion King and stuff and I also like The Lion King. And you could go on the computer and it's like you could just do anything like play a little game or something. And yeah, and that's where all the kids hang out. Everything is so clean and the own room, it's so comfortable. And the ladies are here are very, very nice. And it felt like I just, I didn't think it was a shelter. I was like, wow, like, and, and it's, everything is like so nice and you kind of want it to maintain that and, and it makes you feel good about yourself to be somewhere where you're like, oh, everything is, everybody's positive, everything's nice, so it makes you kind of want to keep doing things to get to where you want to get because every, you know, because you're somewhere where it's a healthy and safe environment. I definitely think it's an amazing thing you're doing and, and you, you changed my life and, and you gave me the opportunity to have my life back. I don't think that in any if things hadn't transpired the way they did and I didn't have that support, I, I wouldn't be okay now. The Genesis House exists so kids can find a place to be kids again. Moms could find a place to heal, to find their path once again. We are providing not just a shelter, we're providing a home, we're providing life-changing experience that helps people go from homelessness to hope, to fulfill their dreams, to become productive members of our society. I could think of nothing more grand and nothing more sincere than to give a gift knowing that a child can simply be a child. Thank you, and that um, you're giving people like hope Know that the donation is made 
to a good cause. It's a positive cause. It's a change in someone's life. So we thank you for your donation. So thank you. On behalf of Hope of the Valley, on behalf of Ken Craft, our president and CEO, of our board of directors, but most importantly, thank you on behalf of all of the women that will be off the streets tonight and, and all of those kids that will be able to smile and to read a book, to play on the computer, and to do those things that we like to do as kids.